I can never tell whether I find Scrabanian Temple mesmerizing or just eerily terrifying. Hey guys, Saxdude26 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Old World New and Tasty Blind. Last time we finished off Scrabania and made it to the temple. We finished off the first secret passage, and now time for the next eight trials. What's new? What's tasty? <laughs> and what's nostalgically terrifying? Okay, trial one. Is this the one I think it is? With the scrabs and the. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, and the rock sack. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, the memories, they're coming back. Oh, dearie, dearie me. First things first, get some rocks. And now we gotta get past scrabs. I've been dreading and looking forward to this. Go, 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 go! Okay, where are the mines? Down here. I've got to, I've got to check for secret passages, so I can't, I can't not. Well, no. I don't know. Been hidden, uh, wouldn't be in here, would it? I, I feel like I need to stop being I so obsessively know. checking for things, but I can't just rely on a hope that everything is going to be exactly the same because it has been so far. It's new and tasty. They're going to change stuff. It's just, it's a given. Lovely. Thank you. And. I do still have the gap here, don't I? Thank goodness. That scrab is not liking that, but because of how quiet he is. <laughs> Wait. I can't get the channel? Huh. Interesting. Okay. I'll roll with it. Pun intended. And go, 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 go! Okay, lovely. Alright. Oh, you're kidding me! <laughs> Why do birds suddenly appear? Okay. Let me guess. Number one, don't be an idiot and forget the lever for the flintlock. Number two, did I need to be more across to get the charm lock? It's really not liking me at the moment, is it? I swear, if it has to be flintlock then chime lock, that's gonna feel a little bit awkward. No, I'm guessing it's just out of range. Let's get let's get the bell tune again, just to just to be sure. I gotta be honest, Abe. I'm a little suspicious of your hand placement there. Just a little. Just a little. Okay. Take two. Oh, you cheeky monkey! You cheeky scrab. I saw him inch forward just the tiniest bit, and then I felt a bit... Oh, dear! Come on. Oh. Woo. I only just noticed that time it bounced off that ball and towards the door and it almost made another dong, another chime with it. Just resonance of the area around that door, just so interesting. Ah, the musician in, mm, the musician in me is going nuts over all of the little aesthetics here and there. I love it. Dear new and tasty, please stop crashing. There we go. Okay. Alright, one down. Time for trial two, ladies and gentlemen. I keep freaking out when it feels like it's loading for too long, because I know... There's just a weird thing. I know that Stan on the PS4 has trouble when our microwave goes off. I'm just worried another appliance in the house is just messing with the loading and new and tasty. And I really don't want that to be a thing that's happening. Okay, I haven't held onto my rocks. So that is not an abusable... Uh, Okay. If 
there is one game in the Old World series that has done chase music just so beautifully, it's Abe's Odyssey because... Oh! Whew. Close shave, thank you very much. It's specifically Abe's Odyssey because I just love the fact... I just love the fact that the chase music is the same for everything. Now, be that as it may, the fact that the Fleeches have specific chase music in Abe's Exodus is terrifying, because that's also used specifically for slogs. Which to me, coming from Abe's Odyssey, were always equally terrifying because of how easily they would just catch up to you. There's a chime lock, just, there's a bell just sitting there. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. But um, then I've also got the whole thing of it's nice that sleeks and industrial enemies have their own chase stuff. And then the scraps and the param- oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Not thinking. Not thinking! I started rambling and stopped paying attention. Yeah. I like that the slogs and the fleeches have their own chase music. And then I like that the scraps and paramites have their own chase music. And then I like that the sleeks and the industrials have their own chase music. It's layered together. But Abe's Odyssey just flat out went, okay, let's make everything that... Abe's Odyssey just went, let's make everything that chases you terrifying. You guys okay with that? Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. That switched that one there. I've made a terrible mistake not going yet. I realized I had that whole ramble going on and I just stopped paying attention. My apologies. Okay. Dealing with scraps. Dealing with scraps. Running to the first level. Go. Bingo. Thank you. I do miss the chime though when you would get a flint block. But I like that it, you're rewarded with it when you get back to the troll room. I like that at least. No? Not today? Are you bored? That is very uncharacteristic of a scrab. Could, could you... could you make up your mind? Oh boy! Oh, it's that whole separate screen, very terrifying feeling that I'm getting. Whoa! Go in the well! <laughs> Jiminy Cricket! <laughs> no thank you. Okay. Okay, I've got to check. I've got to check. Dunk! <sighs> Dunk! I'm going to obsess over the chase, the slog chase music all episode, quite possibly, because it always fit with scrabs so well. With the Paramites, yeah, they're pack animals, so it's still terrifying, but scrabs, they're out to get you and there's only one, and it's equally as terrifying as an entire litter of slogs. That is just so intense to me. Trial 3, this is the one with sleeks, isn't it? Oh, lovely. <laughs> Okay, Abe. Yeah, I know, those rocks would be so helpful right now. Um, bye. Thank goodness. Okay. Oh! Let's do this the way the gear. Let's words the good yes. Okay, well that worked well. I swear that looked like a cross space there. Oh well, okay. Athletes. Oh, that's climb space, but that's a ledge. Let's do this smart. Let's be smart about this. Okay. The puzzle I oh so adore. I've got to worry about the one in the background too. Come on. Okay, thank you very much. I'm gonna just go down here. Thank you. Oh, I've got to check though. Of course. It never would be. 
Go, 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 go. Shivers! Oh, that's, that's, that's a lot of death. That's not good. That's also careless thinking. Okay. Yeah, and go! Oh dear. Oh dear, dear me. Okay. Hoo ha, hoo ha, hoo ha. Hoo ha, hoo ha, cool, cool, kitty. Oh, you're the boy from Rocky Farm. Oh. Oh dear. That's gonna get close. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay. Flip lock and go. I love the lights of them activating. I still do love that. Ah. Some may call it kind of spoiling the surprise, but I call it just a little bit of extra charm. Okay. I'm really nervous now when we get to Rupture Palms 2 and the slow cards have those couple of slicks just sitting in them that I won't notice until I get right up close and personal with the slow cut. I'm wondering how that's going to go, whether it'll keep the light on or whether it'll catch me off guard and have it fizzle out or something. <sighs> Regardless. I was, I was hopeful. I was very hopeful. Okay. Oh, I'm now noticing that the story stone has a bell next to it, and so did the other one, because that's the one for the chime lock. Oh, I feel so stupid now. Oh, those tiny aesthetic details. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you very much. That's three trials. Of course you know, Abe. But I'm being impatient, I'm sorry. Ah, good fun, good fun. I think we have time for another one. Trial 4 is the top one. From memory, all of the secret passages were on one side of the trial room in the original, but I can't remember for certain. I might be remembering that incorrectly. Oh, the one with the bat pit and the scrab and the lift. Oh, yep, I remember this awful, awful, awful trial. What? You know exactly what, Abe. I feel so negligent to a point of shame that I hadn't noticed that little charm there of having the chime, the the, the chime bells up, up against the story. St I'm just ranting. Oh, what the heck! Ranting gets you killed, children. Ranting gets you killed. Do I have to run frantically from those bats? Oh, what a lot of fun that's gonna be. Okay. Get the bell tune, quick save, and go. That is what's happening, that is what's happening, oh dear. Thank you for coverage. There's a scrab over there, isn't there? How do I puzzle? Is that a scrab in the background? Oh, the nostalgia is strong. Oh boy! That went about eight times smoother than it normally does in Abe's Odyssey. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, just a cas casual wall there. Okay. Lovely. Um. Ah. This is going to be insane on hard mode, I just know it. And I don't know yet for hard mode whether I'm going to montage together of my run of that, or whether I'm going to do it as a full playthrough, or what I'm going to do for that. It's going to be fun regardless, and I'm looking forward to it. But I feel like I might just make it its own episode, rather than a full-on playthrough that I show you as a secondary run. Especially to show off the... Um, the variety and the differences and the different difficulties because I know that is going to be a big thing. Okay, I'm going to put it right out there. This secret... <laughs> this secret passage. This trial was infinitely simpler than it was 
in the original Apes Odyssey. Mostly because the scrubs aren't as... What's the right word? Cunning? I want to say cunning, but at the same time I feel like it's that they're not as... They don't fake out as much. And I feel like the lift came down as a process of the rest of the puzzle in Apes Odyssey. So that made it a little simpler. Be that as it may, it also means that the scrabs are a lot more ruthless. They're not going to worry about, you know, tricking you out or getting you with a fake out or anything. They're going to flat out kill you. And that is more terrifying to me. I think we have try, We have Trime. We have Trime. You know, the, the, the enemy skill. Rambling. There is, there is no other... It's not even no other excuse. There's just no other words to describe this part. And I'm really sorry, guys. I'm sorry for that. You deserve better. You deserve me to stay on point and on topic and focus without boring you to tears. Hello. You, you're not gonna... Okay, there we go. That's what we wanted. Thank you very much. Okay. Just take that and look for a secret passage because we can. Dokily dokily do. Take another save. Quick save for the win. Are you not coming back? I guess not. This is the nerve wracking thing. Normally a scrub would just go, you're on the same level as me, so I'm coming to get you. Oh, you proud sneaky monster. Oh boy, that was not, that was not a smart decision. The dangling of meat's not a thing anymore. It's not as tempting. It's not as enticing. Come on. Go, 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 go! Oh, wow, no, now I see what the big deal is. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Dun. Hello, slightly altered chime lock noise from Oddworld Adventures. How are you doing? The other scrap didn't come. I wanted to see them fight. I feel let down a little bit now. That's it. Quick saving to do it on purpose. Because I'm just a glutton for punishment. Oh, okay. Maybe that's maybe that's not worth it. Yeah, that's not worth it. How about we don't? We just we just don't. We just keep going. Just keep on trucking. There we go. Now, because I'm a glutton for punishment, one more time! Seek passage? No! Okay, get the heck out of there. Wow. And here I was thinking I was gonna get a scrap fight out of that. Little disappointed, but I can't be picky. Vegas can't be choosers. Gamers can't wish for more bloodshed when it's completely out of my control. So, five trials down, three more to go. Pretty sure if history has taught us anything, those last three, two of them have secret passages. So next time on Let's Play Oddworld New and Tasty Blind, we'll be finishing off Scribanian Temple. Hopefully. Possibly. Who knows. Until then, this has been Saxu26, and I will see you next time. And now it's time to hang out the laundry.